and welcome to Variety Varnish and today we're going to talk about all the polishes that I wore for the month of August. But before I do that, I just want to welcome all the new subscribers. Um, welcome and I hope you really, you know, find something you like in my channel. Comment down below, um, you know, let's get to know each other. How did you find me? I would love to find out. I have a feeling it's from Manny Centric because she's been so awesome. She's been really a great supporter you know she's kind of been saying a lot of all these nice things about me that I feel um you know for myself that I don't really deserve but I am so appreciative and I am so honored because she's such a great nail artist and also she has become such a good friend and so I have suspicion a lot of you guys found me through her and I'm so appreciative of her and I'm so appreciative of you guys and so yeah um comment down below let's get to know each other um I would love to hear from you guys and so I have a confession to make before anything else also um, I really wasn't super motivated to do this video and I wish I had like a lot of time to do this like towards the beginning of the month just because a lot of these polishes are summer polishes and I was I was ready and I'm ready and I'm already here in fall and um, yeah so but I think it's kind of unfair not to revisit these polishes because they're so beautiful. I mean, I, I wore some pretty awesome polishes last month and also I wanted to continue this um, monthly polish video because I think I've done what about two or three of these videos and I'm going to actually link the playlist down below for the other videos and uh, yeah, so I have about like 15 polishes give or take to talk about today and we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first uh, polish that I'm going to talk about today is Essie's Summer Solstice and this is from um, a Scandinavian release so this actually this polish is actually not available um, in the US and I purchased it from this website called Nelly.com um, like I said, it's a Scandinavian release. I think the collection is called Celebrating Midsummer, and um, it's this beautiful sort of mid-tone yellow. It's a little bit leaning pastel, but it's definitely mid-tone. Um, beautiful formula. It has the new Essie Wide Brush, two to three coats to get opaque, and I don't know if you can see that color right there. And it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, um, it's weird because when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is not exactly like the most unique yellow ever. So I kind of figured there must be a dupe somewhere, somehow. But at that time when I purchased this, I could not find a dupe. Um, but I did finally find one and I'm hoping like I could do like a split screen of a comparison for this but this is China Glaze's Casual Friday and pretty much I don't know if you can see the bottle but here you go I'm not sure if this camera will focus but this is essentially uh, the same polish so um, I'm also talking about China Glaze's casual Friday because right now Sally Beauty is having a 50% off sale for all their China glazes and this is where Sally's is actually where I got um, casual Friday so if you're interested in getting summer solstice and you don't want to shell out the $15 shipping from Nelly or if you can't find it I think that China glazes Casual Friday is a really good option for you guys to pick up. So yeah, that's that. Then the next polish I'm going to talk about is Stella Chroma's Who is the Drizzle? And this is this beautiful sort of white base with lots of multicolored flakies. Holy macaroni. This is an absolutely gorgeous polish. Um, this was opaque in probably two coats it still has that you know crelly formula where it doesn't really 
get fully opaque. I think that Crelly formulas really are not meant to get opaque. And so it has a beautiful, beautiful look to it at two coats. Um, this is also a polish pick off for June 2019. I love Stella Chroma and this is a beautiful polish. So the next polish I'm going to talk about is Essie's Without a Stitch and this is a light gray neutral and this was for um, hashtag ponies polish parade. It's a prompt that was created by um, Polished Pony on Instagram and she asked that we put a matte um, top coat or like, you know, we do a matte mani for this one. So I put on Revlon's matte pearl, pearl glaze, which I don't have with me right now because it's in my car. Um, so the photo got a lot of like likes and favorites. Personally, I didn't really love that look. I love this shade without a stitch, but I think that the matte pearl glaze kind of gave it like a little bit of a dead hand look on me and so it wasn't definitely my favorite mani but it looked beautiful on photos it just goes to show like you know it, it some you can't really judge a mani on a photograph um and also it's it's really a lot of personal preference that goes into your manicures but yeah a lot of people seem to have liked it but me personally it was all right I think I'm gonna try without a stitch again without that top coat and I have a feeling I'm actually gonna like it so the next polish I'm gonna talk about is cover girls constant Caribbean this is a beautiful beautiful sort of, I think it's a duochrome. Um, it definitely has a shift. I can call it a teal, but it sort of has like a sapphire emerald shift to it. Absolutely gorgeous polish. I wore this as a pedicure and I'm gonna post the photo somewhere on the screen, but just as a digression, I took down all my, um, what do you call this, my pedicure photos because I've had a lot of like suspicious people sort of message me about my toes. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to elaborate on that. And you know, that's cool. If you guys are into that, that's totally fine. I just don't want to be the uh, object of that. And so, you know, I spoke with my husband and we talked about it and I've decided that I am going to take down all my pedicure photos. But I'm still going to post a little photo um, right here on the screen just so you can see how beautiful this polish is. This is definitely a keeper for me and I am going to wear this probably again hopefully in the winter or next year as a manicure. Um, opaque in two coats, beautiful formula. The brush is kind of like medium. It's not that thin Essie Zoya but it's also not like a petal brush. Um, fairly easy to work with, but I love these CoverGirl Outlast polishes and uh, this Constant Caribbean is like one of them. So then the next polish I'm going to talk about is China Glaze's Sunset Seeker. This is a beautiful um, red that has a lot of orange undertones. I have a gripe about it though because it's a semi-matte finish. It's not quite matte. Again, it was very reminiscent of um, Essie's, what do you call it? that green that I wore the last time, um, Vice Versa. It kind of had that same texture, kind of like a toy polish. So, I mean, I guess it's all the same because I always wear a top coat anyway. And when I put a glossy top coat on this baby, it shone. Like, it was beautiful. It just shines on a glossy top coat. It looks so juicy. And I actually um, stamped my ring finger with gold over it. It was just such a beautiful look. So this is a keeper. I mean, I'm sure if you put a matte top coat in it and made it truly matte, it also has a certain beauty to it. Me personally, I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of matte manis. Um, just because they don't dry well for me. I don't know why, but uh, 
this is a beautiful if you're looking for like a red um with an orange with a very heavy orange undertone this is gorgeous and this is china glazes sunset seeker then the next polish i'm going to talk about is another pedicure and this is tangled in love by essie and i think you know throughout the months i've realized that purple is my favorite pedicure color and this was also super gorgeous um i actually have an opi here that's similar i haven't even taken it out of the box but let me just rip it out of the box oh it's not similar see um this is the i think what was it positive vibes only by opi and this is tangled in love so but i i haven't used that yet this is um a beautiful purple neon sort of but not really a neon also again that plasticky semi matte finish that i don't love if you put a glossy top coat on it it just is beautiful the one thing about this though is that this is a stainer it wasn't such a bad stainer like i kind of just buffed my nails and it all went away but it stains and for that like I, I can't deal with I'm such a baby when it comes to these polishes like I don't love hard removal I don't love staining and so yeah so that was really like a disappointment for me especially since I feel like you know there was a lot of like neons and purple neons that were out for the summer and so yeah um but otherwise beautiful polish i'm sure this was one of like the more popular neons that came out in the summer um and yeah that's that it's tangled in love by essie the next polish i'm going to talk about is base coats hash and this was my china blue uh prompt for again um polished pony parade and this is beautiful this is a one coater um the only thing that i kind of had a gripe with with this polish is that it didn't last long but this is also a really clean formula so i have a feeling that has something to do with it and by clean i mean i think it's what seven free or eight free or something like that um but yeah one coater super opaque so gorgeous formula is excellent i mean all base coat polishes that i have have excellent formulas regardless of whether it's like a neon or it's a dark color like this just gorgeous and so uh this is base coats hash and then the next polish i'm going to talk about is zoya's mickey which is super special to me just because um this is my son's nickname and this is like a, a pinky coral with a pearl shimmer in it I don't know why this is not a popular Zoya. I have no complaints with this polish. The formula is excellent. I did put a wide brush on it just because I know like these kinds of formulas. When I have an extra Zoya brush, I just put it in there. I don't even argue with it. You know what I mean? But application was easy. Formula was great. It self-leveled well. I don't understand why it's not that popular and um, I know there's another one that's similar to this was it Wendy that I don't have but I picked Mickey because of the name obviously and I don't regret it because it's a beautiful polish beautiful formula easy to apply I have no complaints about this polish and so yeah um, if you're looking for you know a pinky coral from Zoya try out Mickey you might not regret it the next polish I'm gonna show you is OPI's I'm So Swamped. Oh, I love this polish. Oh my God. So I did a video of this where I swatched it on a swatch stick and the formula was kind of like, ugh, but on the nail, it wasn't bad. Like seriously, I still have no complaints. It was, it's beautiful Kelly Green, perfect for honestly any season. Um, I actually also did a Halloween mani on this um, and I'll like post a picture somewhere um, apart from just wearing it like on its own gorgeous gorgeous green polish I love this polish um, I know it's on sale everywhere nowadays um, I think I I mean I got it from TJ Maxx but I think a couple of other retailers also have this on sale 
so gorgeous you guys um pick it up when you have the chance so i have a polish that i wore that i don't have with me right now because my mother liked it and she took it from me but it is opi's orange you were rap star so this is another neon coral quite similar to um zoya's mickey in the photographs but i think zoya's mickey is a little bit less um juicy if if i may say so this is a little bit more opaque um it's definitely a little bit more opaque because that formula was honestly god awful like so here's how i feel about neons in general right i don't love neons like they're not my top shades to wear and if i'm gonna wear a neon i would love for it to be easy and there are so many like retailers and creators now that make beautiful neons with beautiful formulas cirque colors come to mind you know what i mean and so why i have to deal with this awful awful formula i don't know i mean it's opi right i mean opi is supposedly you know one of those mainstream brands that have a better formula um, the color is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. In fact, so gorgeous my mom took it away from me. So now I can't show you the bottle. But like I said, I mean, I don't, I don't want to have to work so hard for a shade that I'm going to only wear one season that I don't particularly really love. Like if I want to wear a neon, I want to be wowed by it. Like, you know, Live Love Polishes Popsicle or any Sear Colors Neons. Um, so yeah, so that's how I feel. And you'll see the photo somewhere in the screen, but this is OPI's Orange Shoe Rockstar. The next polish I'm gonna talk about is Essie's Blossom Dandy. And this is my absolute favorite blue Essie ever. This is the perfect Tiffany blue with an excellent, excellent formula. I mean, you know, you have mint candy apple and all these blues that are super beautiful but super problematic when it comes to formula. Blossom Dandy is your go-to. If you want like a minty blue that won't give you a headache when you're applying it, try to find Blossom Dandy. I know, I think it's discontinued, but I did try to find it as a gift for someone and I know I kind of found it in some odds and ends retailers online and so yeah this is absolutely gorgeous and I wore this for the Essie Club collab um, on Wednesdays we wear mint. The next polish I'm going to talk about is Scofflaw's Hack the Planet. This is an oldie but goodie. I found this on a D stash and it's this green neon green with some gold shimmer or yellow gold yellow shimmer on the base beautiful base in and of itself and it also has some black um square like some pearl hexes and black hex glitters in there um just a lot and black circles there's just a lot of like stuff going on um, it kind of mimics a pixelated look because if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the um, label actually has a computer on it and it says Hack the Planet. Um, this is a very interesting polish for me and I love it for its complexity. And I, I'm kind of thinking like, you know, if it was just the base on this one, I would love this polish. And the glitter in it definitely gives it kind of like a very, I don't know, almost punk vibe to it punk vibe to it and and i love it for that i love it both ways and so this is scofflaw's hack the planet and then the next polish i'm going to talk about is death valley nails's black bush holy macaroni my absolute favorite yellow today so a lot of people are saying it's a mustard yellow. Okay, it's a little bit of a mustard yellow, but it's definitely a little bit more yellow orange to me, which is perfection. Also, the best part about this is that it's 
a jelly formula. It looks so juicy on the nail. I cannot say enough good things about this polish. You guys, Death Valley Nails. They have a couple of other really unique shades in there. So try to go and check them out. This is a three coater, but I will do the three coats. There's, it's so easy, so beautiful. Even my mother, who only wears red nail polish, was like, oh my god, that is a beautiful polish. I said, I know, it's so pretty. But yeah, so it's Death Valley Nails' Black Bush. And last but not the least, I'm going to talk about Cadillacers Parade. This is a polish pickup um, polish, and it's a red jelly base with like kind of like a sky blue metallic blue glitter in it. I wore this for our um, New York State Fair because of its carnival theme, you know, because the theme that month was carnival. And this is an absolutely gorgeous polish. So when this was on sale at Polish Pickup, I think it sold out like three times and Madeline kept like restocking it. And I probably got this on the second or third restock because I was like, eh, do I really love a red polish with blue glitter? But I'm so happy that's precisely what Polish Pickup is there for. It takes you out of the box and lets you try the, these absolutely stunning polishes that you probably won't find, first of all, elsewhere. And number two, that you probably won't gravitate towards if it was something that was on the mainstream or even like, you know, a regular indie release. So yeah, this is Cadillac Crisp Parade. It's beautiful red polish. So that's it you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me again to chat about everything and anything nail polish. So last night I actually watched a movie with my husband called Late Night on Amazon Prime and it's a really good movie and it's about this late night comedian and every time she ended her show she would say I hope I earned the privilege of your time. And I'm not gonna quote her every single time I end my video, but I do really sincerely hope that I have gained the privilege of your time. And for all the new subscribers, again, I'm so appreciative of you being here. Welcome, and I will continue to work hard to find really good content for you guys. And, um, I have a couple already in mind and I hope that you will stick around and continue to enjoy this little hobby with me. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. If you're into this kind of stuff, there's the bell button for notifications. I thought they actually did away with that, but I guess it's still there. Um, but yeah, um, again, I hope everybody is having a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.